a simple thing happened. I was walking along the beach and I saw this bird and I realised the bird was just being itself. It was like the bird was talking to me. And the purpose of this beautiful creature was to be the most, the most it, the most, the most it could be. So it only needed to, to be whatever it was, and that was it. And it made me have this realization that's what everything in the world and everything in the universe just needs to be. They just be themselves, whatever that might be. And that is actually what we're here to do. The first time I was introduced to Qigong was when I was quite ill and um, a teacher suggested I learn Qigong and I had never heard about it before. So she was running a weekend session um, for T1 and D1 to learn it and so I went to it and immediately I could feel it making a difference to me. So after that, I became quite fascinated by what it was. I really still didn't know what it was. And it seemed quite mysterious, but I was very intrigued at how it had made such a difference in such a short time. So I got very ill, gradually built up, and I got um, adrenal fatigue, and I also got fibromyalgia, which is when you have really um, sore joints. And in the end, it got so bad, bad the fibromyalgia, that I went to a specialist at the hospital and he said, you are going to die and it's just going to be a process of losing your ability to move gradually. And it, you know, sooner or later, like maybe two years, you won't be able to move much at all. I asked him, what can I do? <laughs> And he said, nothing, I don't know. There is nothing that the medical profession know. They don't know what to do. We can give you drugs to ease your pain. At the time, I didn't understand. I just thought I was physically ill. But now I realize that it was my own, my own mind that had got me there. I had a lot of anxiety. I was consumed by performance. So I had to perform very highly. So I was very successful outside in the world. You know, everyone thought I was successful. But inside, I had been kind of pushing myself just so hard and continuously for years and years and years. I've been successful in various professions and got to the top of those professions. But underneath it, I was driven to do that because I wanted to feel like I was loved, really. And Every time I got to the top, 
I still didn't feel okay. So I just do it again and again and again. I didn't ever feel like the success I had in my professions filled the void I had inside. And it was because now I know that I was trying to fill the void from outside, not from inside. It's the, actually the first time in my life I've actually been inside myself. Before I was out, out there in the planet somewhere, you know, all about the other people, what do they think about me, were they okay? I didn't really even know myself at all. So this process has been about feeling safe enough to be back inside myself for the first time in my life. After a while, I started having some incredible experiences. And some of them were while I was doing Qigong, and some of them were just out in everyday life. And things started opening up for me. And incredible things started happening. And at the same time, I then started going to classes. And while I didn't really know what in Ren Shui they term patterns were, I had been given a list of the questions to ask and the, the, pat, the types of patterns, like the 10 fundamental patterns there were. So then I decided I was going to watch myself and identify all patterns. That is what I was going to do. So I actually did that and I did nothing else but just watch them. And then I'd write the questions down in my book and then I'd answer them physically. So I hadn't learned the process of Ling Wan at that point. And things just started becoming more and more amazing. This kind of built up and it led to the most incredible experience and realization when I was swimming one day and I just went for a morning swim and I was lying on my back in the water and I was looking up at the sky and then suddenly I was everything, the whole universe, everything. And I felt this incredible sense of love. I, I didn't exist at all. I had no body. I had nothing. I, I was the universe. And the incredible sense of love was just so all-encompassing and it was just so incredible. There was nothing for me to do at this moment. I didn't exist. And I was in there. I do not know how long I was in there in, in this incredible place. And then after a while, I came out of it and I realized that I was floating in the water on my back. But I didn't know I 
was, you know, I, I hadn't known that. So I had no idea how long I'd been there. But I also had floated out to sea quite a long way. And I'm not a very good swimmer. <laughs> so I was, but I was okay because I was like, I was so full of love. There was nothing for me to do. I was just so joyful. There was no thoughts. Nothing happened. I was just love. And I was complete. But after that, everything changed. Everything changed. It, it was like a turning point for me. But it was the feeling of love. But then it was a feeling of all the five shin came with came with the love. It was amazing. It made a very big difference to my life. Every moment is a new beginning of your perception of the universe. And you're in this moment, you can choose to be in the moment. So, in this moment, you can have no past and you can have no future. You can just be now, right now. It's a good way to live. I feel like every moment's a miracle now. It is a miracle that we're even alive and we can see the trees outside our window. Those trees are miracles. Everything is a miracle. So every day is. completely miraculous. Every moment is a transformational moment that can totally change you.